This is the what's known in Fairbanks as the Creamer car. This is a 1910 Chalmers Detroit. Little Model 30. Great little car. It's been in Fairbanks since 1912. Interesting history when you think about getting a car from Detroit to Fairbanks. We got it to Seattle. We'd put it on the steamer into Skagway. It would have to go over the top on the White Pass Railroad. Then it would have to go on a paddle wheel boat across the lakes, a car cross, back into Whitehorse, then on a stern wheeler all the way down the Yukon, back up the Tanana and into the Chena and into Fairbanks. Now that was one of the things that really slowed things down was in Fairbanks, Alaska, sometimes the water gets hard. So midwinter would cause a delay. It was brought up here by a dentist. Now once he had the car up here, I suppose with a little bit of driving around and realizing that, geez, there's no roads to drive on to speak of up here. What little bit of trails there are, muddy, messy, totally impassable for most of the year. The car really has no purpose here. So it was traded to Fred Noyes and Charlie Creamer, who had a sawmill, uh, for materials to build the first dental office in Fairbanks and it's been in the Creamer family ever since. They used it just as kind of a fun thing, uh, occasional use in the summertime. Charlie Creamer would run around town during the parades and stuff with it, haul dignitaries, whatnot. It sat for many, many years not running. And in probably about the early 90s, a group of the guys here in Fairbanks Carl Gall and some of those guys got together and brought it back out, done a sympathetic restoration on it, and got it all back up and running again. A uh, few of the things that we had to do here when it came in to loan with us, the crankcase was broke, the bell housing had been cut away, and at one time somebody had tried to put an electric starter on it, so we had to patch all of the holes that were in there because you couldn't keep oil in the car. We repaired the block and the crankcase and went through and got it all back together and running. Uh, there again it ran the parade this year, uh, the Golden Days Parade, and it was the first car to cross the new bridge downtown. Just really a great piece of Fairbanks history and we're very lucky to have it here on Long